so I thought I would show you guys the sauna. I haven't been in here really yet. I mean, I came in the one time before we were bought, when we bought it, when we looked at it, and then I came in. So there's Annie Oakley. There's the house. Sorry, I went so fast. There's a riding arena. Um, and here's the sauna. That's all open up there. Not sure why. I think they were just using... I don't know. Um, it's a cute little building. See what I mean about the wire? Wire everywhere. So there's a bunch of wood, and I'm tempted to go in the house and see if I can get it started and get it going. Um, I love this awning. I mean, this would be a nice place to just sit after I've gotten rid of the cobwebs. So here's the door you come in. Um, it needs, it doesn't shut quite, it just needs to be taken off and have the, I forget what you call it, plane it? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. So, okay, here you come in, and there's that. The electricity's turned off out here right now. Um, it's all cedar in here, so it smells amazing. What's in here? There's just all sorts of stuff. Candles, lighters, lighter fluid. What's the show on left outside? What is that? Faucet washers. Hmm. Mouse poop. Lovely. I'm not surprised. I should have brought a big... Smokers and chewers will please spit on each other and not on the stove or floor. Nice. That's got to come down. That's tacky. Uh, so here's old Rudy. And I do believe that that's the pipe for the water. There's a water tank behind it. Um, it's it's cast iron. It seems to be quite good. It doesn't look like there's a mat. I'll clean it out later. That's just another... That's ah, cute. All this stuff is just broken in here. So the pillows, they left the pillows. There's more windows here. These actually are nicer windows than the windows in the house. Scary, huh? Uh... Hook for robes. There's another towel. I actually used to have these towels. I actually might still have these towels down in... There's a brace. Is that a bracelet or a bowl? What does that say? Important. Never leave candle burning unattended. Why would you put a candle in a wooden container? That, okay. I'm not comfortable doing that. I don't know what those are. I have no idea. Anyway, so here... Like this. This is just like everything here. It needs to work. This is cool. I like the door. It's really cool. I'd like to put like a poster or something here. Maybe. Maybe some cool wallpaper. I don't know. Maybe leave it as it is and just finish it. I don't know. But the door really needs to be on this side. You should be able to open the door out because what happens is... This is where... Hey, the door won't open all the way. Oh, look, because they put it right there. Hmm. So, my dad's supposed to come out and help show me how. This is an ancient door. Look at that. Love, love, love the door. I love this door. That's a cool door. It's awful skinny. Um, another towel rack. A light, I guess. I'm not sure. A really dirty mirror. Um, and there's a shower in it, which is actually really nice, because it'd be nice, you know. Come in, have a nice hot sauna in the winter. I don't know what they had up there on the wall. Um, so he, there's the hot water heater. And I don't think it's a hot water heater. I think it's just it fills with water and then there must be a pump that cycles it through to the stove. Here's the rocks where you're going to... And the stairs. I think, though, that if I were going to do it... I don't know how you could put the stairs someplace where they're a much more reasonable place. I mean, does it matter that you get water on the stairs? It's a sauna. You get water on everything when you're in a sauna. Um, but there's lots of room in here. Tons of room. And this, does this open? Oh, it does. Ah, to let some of the heat out if you need to. Okay, see, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. 
There's the water. Turn the water on. Water on there. I guess. Because I know when he said he was going to get it going, he didn't say we were going to do a water test because you have to hook it up here. Turn it on. Yeah, see, coming down these stairs, not such a good idea because there's nothing to hold on to except for the really hot thing here. So I really think that the stairs should be moved from here. Can I move them? Nope, of course not. That would be too easy. Move them over that way. Because I'm sure that's... And that would be nice because then you could sit under the hot water. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it that way. Yeah. I'm going to move. have these moved so they can go here. And that way you can sit on them. Or you can climb up there when you take a sauna. Because, you know what? This is plenty of room for a outside shower. So. Mm hmm. Don't, I know the water. This, this is not going to be stinky water because this water's not going through the water softener to get some of the iron out. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be stinky. But I, you know, I came in here because I was a little worried. We were talking last night. We were afraid that we might have squirrels in here. But no, it smells like a sauna though. That's got that cedar mm, and that wood smoke. Oh, best smells in the world almost. Was I seeing a reflection or was I seeing outside? It's a reflection. These are the nicest curtains in the house, too, out in the sauna. Imagine that. I have way more hooks, too. I could bring out here and put some more hooks up here to hang. Um, you know, different things. Maybe a couple robes would be nice in case you come in. And, I don't know. You never decide what you're going to do. You might get naked out here, and then you need to find something to the sauna. This is nice to have a bench here. There's supposedly electricity here. I know there's electricity because I saw that the uh, circuit breakers were pulled. Which I don't even want to know why that is. Oh, wait, the light is on in here. So I wonder what that other boy... I said something, I guess. I, I can't believe anything. And he, look at... Isn't that cool? There's part of a... Uh, Horse lead rope. Why is it in here? I don't know. I wonder what that light, what that switch did. I suspect it has something to, is this the other pump? Is this the well pump in here? Motion sensor. Motion sensor. Motion sensor what? It's a fire extinguisher. And I can't tell if this is stuck or mounted or White Rogers zone flow water valve. Hmm. Ah! This is my pump. I'm surprised that it didn't freeze. Oh, maybe it did, and I didn't know. Because those are open. <sighs> I need someone who knows what the hell's going on here. Oh. That sign's got to go. That is just beyond tacky. I can't, I can't do that kind of tacky. That's just disgusting. That's just not for me. Did that other light come on in here, then? It did! Oh, it's an awful dark light. Oh, yeah, you can see better in here now. Imagine that. You see the iron on the top of that. Probably needs to be flushed out. He didn't leave it full all the time, so... Because it was empty when we came to look at the place. So he was going to fill it for us, and then he didn't. Do you think that they would have... You know, in a what I think and what other people think are two totally different things, so this one doesn't shut either all the way, which, why is that? Because they put this extra, no, how is it on the other side? Well, you could have, mm. I don't know. I don't know. 
going to become a carpenter after all this shit. Okay, so lights off. Well, it's nice to know that it's mostly working. And there's no squirrels in here. Yeah, it doesn't shut any more than that, but that's enough for now. It's a beautiful day. I have my coat off. Hmm. Where's the nails? Oh. Well, that's a nice way to prop that up. I'm glad it's just the little thing over the wood thing and not the rough to the sauna. Here's my thing. Dog poop. That is Jack's favorite place to poop. Lots of wood. Lots of nice wood. Plenty of wood to do the sauna. Ooh, there's a pallet. I'm going to be using those in the barn. There's the chimney to the wood doctor, which is not hooked up. It was disconnected. Well, ooh, there's another pallet. Yay. Ooh, and some boards. I'm going to use all that stuff for my raised beds gardens. There's a wood box. I guess it's a wood box. Some of that metal stuff looks really new. That one does not look new at all. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. Can you open it? I'm going to stomp on these nails. There's a tree growing. That's got to go. It's got to go. See the ice? That's what I don't want to step on. Hmm. Cinder block. Got plenty of building materials around right here. Oh, can I walk past it? No, that's the back. I don't think that's where you open it to feed it. I think. Is this where you open it to feed it? Yes! Oh my god. I didn't even empty it out. Oh, but there's some charcoal in there. That'd be good for a garden. Mmm, smells like wood smoke. I love wood smoke. You know, it doesn't look like it's ruined. It looks like it's in good shape. It doesn't look like it's rotted through. Huh. Hmm. I thought that'd be really good to put a rack in there, and I could make a smoker in here. I could smoke the shit out of some meat, cheese, fish. Get some racks and slide it in like, you know, those metal drawers that you use. Get one like in a morgue. Yeah, that would be awesome. They just slide right in. Smoking stuff underneath. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Made in Canada. Does this shut? Champion series. It's 18. It's got a light on it. I don't know what that does. We did turn the electricity off on it because we just we didn't want it on because it's not hooked up to anything. So it wouldn't make sense to have it on. Oh, there we go. That's how it works. I don't have the energy to pull that all the way across. Caution. Before opening door, pull bypass rod. Shut off fan. Stand to your right and slowly open door. Push bypass rod in while turning. Yeah, I don't know. What the, oh, maybe that's what that is? That bypass rod, maybe? Definitely not something you want to just, you know, wing it. I think you'd really like to figure out exactly. Oh, yeah, that'd be easy to turn that into a smoker got to have venting in there because it's got fire in there. What do you mean? My own smoker. I could put a whole pig in there. Think of the bacon I could make. Smoke it all myself. As you can hear, we now have seagulls. I don't know what they're eating out back. I really don't. Oh, it's beautiful in the sun. I'm out here in just sweatpants and a sweatshirt. It's probably like 45 degrees, but it feels like some people just driving too fast on the road. Look at the dust. So I gotta put my trees in. Once I get the trees in, then at least once I get bigger, it'll contain most of the dust. That and people won't be staring at my stuff as they drive by. Is that truck really gonna pass? What is it doing? I live in the middle of nowhere, and I still there's too many people for me. I used to like people. I mean, I like people, but I just don't like what I consider stupid people. 
So I'm going to walk out back and see what I can see. Oh, I should bring my trees out, too. Oh, that's the neighbor. Getting passed by somebody. <laughs> I wonder what he thinks about that. Probably going, what the hell's wrong with people? i got to grab my trees and go, okay, daffodils. I'm going to separate them in the fall. Put my trees in here. Dogs are barking at me. Not much trees, are they? They will be trees. They will be trees. You just have to have faith. Oh, have first faith. Have to have faith. Put them here because I don't want them in too much wind. They would like some sunshine. Sunshine. They all want sunshine. Here's a leftover mess. One more trip to the dump. Well, one more trip to the dump from the remodel. I don't know how long. This one's not as easy to carry. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh my. And I didn't have any small chicken trees, so I had to buy the big ones. Which, sure, John will be more than happy with. These cherries are his favorite. Which I helped learn him. Oh. Ooh, there we go. Pretty cherries. There we go. Get some sun. Be happy. And the wind. I left these. These rocks, I think they put extended because of this, but I don't want those rocks out that far. I'll spray paint that red or something so people see it. I mean, it's, it's crumbling a little bit. <laughs> you just don't want to. Or just get some more gravel and put it around it so that you don't go up on it. We had geese out here yesterday. Canadian geese. Well, I was told that they had their nests here last year. And it's going to go into this barn because I heard that the finches were here. And I don't know if the finches stay here to lay their nests, lay their eggs and have nests. God, this is so slippery. I hurt myself. John is going to kill me. This is where I hit my back the last time. Right here. See that? Came out here for something. Slipped. Hurt myself. And it hurt. So. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. I just know there's a bucket up there. I wonder what's in there. I don't know if this board. There's some hay here. It's going to be a pain in the tush getting this hay out. And these plastic things, they all got to go to the dump. I don't know where they got them. Farmers will reuse anything. These are the hay bales that have um, mold. I couldn't use them for my horses. And I'm not sure what... They were going to put hay up there, or... I don't know what they were going to do up there. I'm not sure I want hay up there, though. I mean, I don't know what I would put up there. Look, I got a sulky racing thing. Don't have a horse that does sulky. Don't know how you would even do it. Hmm. There's the fuse box. I turned all that stuff off in here. Cause we're not using it. Oh, I wonder if that's a live wire. Where it goes to? Hmm, see the snakeskin? And then there's some more snakeskin. Found a whole bunch of snakeskin in here, which I think is really cool because I like snakes. They don't bother me. My mother's phobic about them. There's some rebar so I can make some more hay troughs. That'll come in handy. I can also use those for my raised bed gardens. Pound them to the ground. Hold up. There's a door. 
And the sliders on it. I don't know which door it came from. Oh, <sighs> Unless if they were going to put a horse in here, because you see they got the, well, it cribbed up there, but they got this anti-cribbing metal. <laughs> the birds used some blue twine for that. That's kind of funny. Yeah, that's what a horse will do when they're bored and locked in a stall. They'll chew on stuff. That's why you don't lock them in stalls. Oh, there's the salt feeder thing. wonder where that board went. Huh. Anyway, I could just put some cattle. Put a door there. Some cattle wire here. I could put turkeys in here. Put my sheep in here when they're getting ready to have babies. It'd be nice to have an extra stall, like a birthing stall, because there's a light right there. Is there an electrical outlet though here to run a heat lamp? Who knows? There's some. Maybe there's two of those metal things. That's what I want to use on this side. Ooh, that's where those are. I'm going to plant my peas in those and you slide them right out into the ground. Oh, another pallet. Yeah. You know what I need to do is come out with a clipboard and start taking inventory of everything I've got. So that I don't have to rebuy anything. There are all the birds. Way out there. It's so warm out here. <laughs> I don't know what seagulls eat when they're out in the field. I thought maybe they eat the grass. My husband says they're carnivorous. Maybe they're omnivorous. So they eat bugs. Could be. What I could be doing, I could get my wire clippers in a bucket and I could start clipping wires and putting them in the bucket. This is the next barn I'm going to start in because this is where I'm going to put the goats and the sheep. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, guys. Oh. Very uneasy footing. Glad my back is feeling better, so I'm going to. I don't even know how much crap is in here. There's obviously he put the hay on that side and then let the cows in and the cows come in and stick their heads through there and eat. It's not goat size. Tis not, tis not, tis not, tis not. There's the water. There's an extension cord. Or an outlet or something. I don't know where it goes. There's no bird's nest in here though. That's what I came in here for. That's where the water runs out. Drains out that one. It was out on the outside and I saw that. So this is supposed to be, I guess, where they put the cow's head in and then it doesn't come out. I guess, I mean, more wire. But, I, mean, I wouldn't milk in this nastiness. No plastic top of logs supposedly to keep the hay from getting moldy but you know if you could put it up there it's probably why they were doing that to put it up in the loft so that you'd have access to hay and it looks like they were going to make two stalls over there it should be okay I mean you could have two birthing stalls then you gotta get that door fixed on the outside so you can shut the door I don't know if that door fake that door that door is not working right. This door does work. Because this is the door I go out of all the time. Um <laughs> not the sturdiest door. I, I don't know if they had the cows coming in that door or not. I don't know why there's that. I don't know why there's chain link fencing. There's a whole bunch in the barn where the poop is, where the compost, sorry, the compost pile is. Hmm. And then I, I don't know what that was. There's a big nail sticking out, though. Huh. 
No more snakeskin? Or is that just paper from a birch tree? Hmm. I wonder where that water's coming from. I was hoping I'd find some bird nests. <laughs> There's the pigeons. I can be happy with a pigeon nest. Should make my neighbors crazy. They hate pigeons. I like pigeons better than rats, so I'm gonna have pigeons eat any grain left instead of a rat. I'll take the pigeon over there. Alright, well, anyway. I wanted ever since I was just showing you the sauna. But I love just wandering around out here. <laughs> and that looks scary. And they were hanging people in here or something. That's just creepy. Sorry, there's something creepy about a rope. Just hanging. I mean, what? Maybe they use that to pull the hay up. Could be. You think you'd want it more that way, but then that's not even wood that they use to put in the middle. I mean, I'm sure it's fine. And there's another one. What were they hanging way up there? And how did they get up there? That's my question. So I gotta change lights in the arena. And I don't even know how. I don't want to rent a lifting. Oh, look, there's a door up there. If you look really close. I guess they were gonna put a hayloft all the way across, maybe. They put the door up there, but they never put the hay the hay the rest of the loft up there. They had great ideas. A lot of the boards still look good. That makes me very happy. And the roof looks really good. So, even if that front building fell apart, this one would still be okay. That's missing the plastic, but that, I saw that plastic. Where did I see it? It's in here. I saw it. Was it over there? Was it over here? So I need to make a note. See, need a notepad. Need a notepad so I can come out and list the things that need to be done. And there is a hose, a partial hose. Hmm. Oh, you just don't know. I guess those are birdhouses. I don't know what kind of birds you have on a birdhouse. It's just a plain, flat opening like that. Whatever. It's a little bit windy here. Alright. Well, that's enough for today. Before the door slams on you. I gotta be careful when I walk across. I hope you like the sound of tour.